Hi guys, I am your Dr. Mats and in this video we will study about eigenvalues and eigenvectors and basics because before solving the complex problems it is very important to know the basics right correct so once you know this video all of the other videos would be a cakewalk for you is a guarantee from my side so the very first point is about the square matrix now what is a square matrix if you note it carefully when we talk about the square matrix a matrix look like let's say a is equal to some rows and columns we have. This side represents rows, this size represents column. So suppose we have some elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now as you can see that the n that is the row and cross n that is the column are equal. As you can see it is a 3 cross 3. This means row is equal to 3, this is row. And column is equal to 3, this is column. This is known as the square matrix. Suppose what if I say my let's say another matrix is 1, 2, 1, 2. Is this a square matrix? Answer is yes. What if I say now my matrix is 1, 2, 3, then I have let's say 2, 3, 4. Is this a square matrix? Answer is no. Why? Because the rows are 2 but the columns are 3. So row is not equal to column, so this is not the square matrix. Now why I am giving you the basis of the square matrix? The answer for this it is used in this eigenvalues and eigenvectors so eigenvalues and eigenvectors chapter continuously it is all about the square matrix what will happen what kind of variations we have it, it is dealing with that so once you know the square matrix concept rest will be the key work for you now let's move on directly to the second point it is about the eigenvalues now this eigen word is derived from the german which means that proper values so this is the meaning what is the meaning of eigen eigen means the proper values now you know that you have one square matrix let's say a now in general when we talk about the examination point of view you will get one 2 cross 2 matrix or you can get one 3 cross 3 matrix now this notations this matrix this values you now know because of the square matrix basics so that was important in the first point now in the second point we are trying to find the eigenvalues the notation is we have to try to find the value of lambda now you have the 2 cross 2 you have the 3 cross 3 matrix anyone would be given in the question and they are saying find the value of lambda that is find the eigenvalues of this matrix so how to proceed so these steps once you have the steps everything is clear to you first look at the matrix whether it is 2 cross 2 or it is 3 cross 3 because for both of them methods remain different and we will clearly see when we will talk about the example in the basic video i will talk about 2 cross 2 in the further videos i will give the real exam question on 3 cross 3 and some more example so the first question is pretty clear that we will have a matrix in 2 cross 2 or 3 cross 3 second point is we have we are trying to find the lambda so let's uh, look on directly how to get the value of lambda so determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to 0 if you do that you will get the value of lambda now what are these terms determinant a i let's let me clear to you i is very simple it is either 1 0 0 1 for 2 cross 2 or when we talk about 3 cross 3 it would be 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so basically it's a diagonal matrix where all the diagonal all the diagonal value is equal to 1 so it is as simple as that what is the value of i and then if we multiply lambda then everything would change to lambda here okay so lambda every diagonal element is changed to lambda now so lambda i is this matrix for 2 cross 2 or 3 cross 3 if your matrix is 2 cross 2 then go for this if your a matrix is 3 cross 3 then go for that simple so this is how you have the variations 1 and 2 now let's move forward to the third step so if i take the example uh, let's say i have the matrix 1 2 4 and 3 then find the eigenvalues of that how will you find that apply the step one okay now my matrix is a is equal to 2 cross 2 1 2 4 3 which is a 2 cross 2 matrix then go for the second step i have to find the determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to 0 so if I do that, I know that first I need the subtraction between these two. So the subtraction between these two would be a pretty simple thing. Determinant of I have 1 minus lambda 
2 because you can see only the diagonal part as you can see in the second step only the diagonal part has the value of lambda everything rest is zero so here only the diagonal element would change so diagonal element was 1 and 3 so it would be 1 minus lambda 3 minus lambda and remaining would be as it is so now we have to find the determinant of this determinant is a sim simple concept you have to cross multiply 1 minus lambda into 3 minus lambda minus you have 4 into 2 that is equal to 8 is equal to 0 if you solve this in calci you will get the value of lambda okay so the equation is lambda square minus 4 lambda minus 5 is equal to 0 now if you solve that you will get the value as so the final answer for this kind of question after solving the calci lambda is minus 1 lambda is 5 so this is how you find the eigenvalues so let's talk about the third point and the third basic so first point is we are talking about the eigenvector up till now we have studied about the square matrix we have studied about the eigenvalues that is equal to lambda and now we are studying about the eigenvectors that is capital X so the notation is capital X okay so what we are doing in the eigenvectors as we saw first we determined what is our matrix then we apply the respective formula to get the value of lambda now using this lambda value we have to find x so let's take the same example a was 1 uh, 2 4 3 correct we had this we after solving that we got the value of lambda how we got the value of lambda we take determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to 0 now we got the value of lambda as minus 1 and 5 so for let's say phi i will solve the eigenvector so you will get the basic idea so if my lambda is phi my respective eigenvector would be what so that is my question now it is pretty simple the step is you have to do a now this is the matrix when you see the bracket it is the matrix whenever you see the straight line as here you are talking about the determinant so now i am talking about the matrix when i am talking about the eigenvector so a minus lambda i okay so this is my first matrix then i am multiplying it with x that is equal to 0 so what is happening here we get now 1 minus lambda 2 4 3 minus lambda and then we have the value of x which can be written as x1 x2 okay because it is a 2 cross 2 matrix also remember that then it is equal to 0 0 okay this is all in the matrix format now this is important all in the matrix format okay now because my lambda value is 5 i can change the terms here 1 minus 5 would be equal to minus 4 then i have 2 4 then 3 minus 5 would be equal to minus 2 so this is the matrix format now whenever you are now this is the important thing tip is what so please do mark that it is important tip whenever you are trying to find the eigenvectors you have to reduce reduce the row first term to zero first term to zero now leave leave the first row from the second row third row whatever row you get try to make this term that is the row first term to zero if you are trying to make that rest would be zero automatically okay if it is possible and there are many ways okay the third point is there are many ways there are many ways to solve this uh, kind of matrix first is the normal which are which we are doing in this video second is about the Kramer's rule which we'll see in the future videos and third is about when uh, when two rows are same so row one is equal to row two let's say like that when two rows are same what we, what we can do so we have these three variations so eigenvector is a very very important and very conceptual topic which uh, leads to thinking about various steps so that's it let's uh, let's do it here and as you can see leave the first row so leave it okay now let's talk about the second row now as you can see the term is 4 here which i am trying to make it 0 what i what i will do let's say the row 2 is equal to row 2 plus row 1 if i do that this means that the row 1 is unaffected I, as i said leave that but row 2 is equal to row 2 plus row 1 so 4 minus 4 will make it 0 as i said make this term as 0 so that is the only way possible if i do row 2 plus row 1 then this term is equal to 0 and minus 2 plus 2 will also make it 0 then x1 x2 
and 0, 0. Now, if you make this as equation, minus 4x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 0, which leads me to, as you can see, it is a pretty simple, x1 is uh, 2 times x1 is equal to x2. It's just the simplification. Now, I got the relation. So, as we saw in the previous slide, our relation was between x1 and x2 is equal to 2 times x1 is equal to x2. Now, if I say that my x1 is t, then what would be my x2? x2 would be 2 times of t. So, now you can say that our eigenvector, that is capital X, is equal to this our matrix x1, x2, correct? And the values of x1 is t and x2 is 2t. So, if I take the t out, I will get 1 and 2. So, now you can say that the final statement you have to write when you are writing the examination is my eigenvector that is equal to 1 comma 2, eliminate the term t while writing the final answer. The term is uh, eigenvector that is equal to 1 comma 2, uh, the matrix form, is basis for the eigenspaces. Eigenspaces, so it is E eigenspaces, where my handwriting is, okay, and corresponding to eigenvector, uh, sorry, eigenvalue that is equal to we have uh, what we do? 5. So, eigenvector, the matrix, is the basis for the eigenspaces corresponding to lambda value as 5. So, this is how you have to write in the theory format when you are talking about the examination point of view. But this is only the concept. So, let's take me a quick recap. First step was to find the value of E. Second step is to find the value of lambda using the characteristic equation. The next step is to find the eigenvectors. Eigenvector is also represented as capital X. Okay, and uh, that's it. These are the three steps. Now let's look forward. So friends, if you like my video, then do like this video, share with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. This is Shrenik Jain. Peace out.